welcome back everybody today i'm playing the final pin this is another game by the developer of the shopping list and broken through i really loved both of those games and i'm sure i'll love this one so let's play serial killers are not the monsters lurking in the shadows but human beings living among us hiding in plain sight they are the embodiment of our darkest fears and most twisted desires reminding us that the line between good and evil is often razor thin. Well, I mean, you're kind of right. Whoa, whoa. Old timey wimey looking ass. Kind of a scary thing to think about, isn't it? The line is razor thin. Was the world truly in black and white back in 1968? Excited for your first day? Yes. I am. Yeah, I hope I can make a good first impression. You'll do great, Dad. Thanks, Kevin. Buddy. Good luck, sweetie. I appreciate it. Don't look at me like that continuously as I move around. I'm not a fan. Am I going to work, perhaps? Exit house. One month later. One month later? Oh. Oh. Here I am. Uh-oh. It's looking like something bad is going down over here. It's a big ass car, dude. Well, this doesn't look so good. Is that a symbol? Is that a crow? Oh, this is gonna be awesome, isn't it? Hello? Talk to him. Oh, hey. You're new, right? Yeah, Zach. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this is Zach Beal TV, I think. Right? Yeah, this is the first crime scene I've ever been at. Oh. Well then. That means you and I will be crime scene partners for God knows how long. Well, that's cool. You know, it actually kind of looks like Zach very slightly, and that's even more awesome. Oh, cool. Anyways, you arrived just in time. This was one weird ass crime scene. Yeah, it looks when like the it. victim's body was rolled over. It revealed this strange symbol. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like it before. I think it could mean something. Hmm. We'll get my camera from the car. We need a photo of this. Got you, man. You know, I got to say, I really hope nothing bad happens to Tony, a.k.a. Zach, because that's the homie. Can I take a picture of you? Jeez. <laughs> you look like a great friend. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell him to say cheese. Well, you know what, Zach? Don't like how you're looking at me. I'm going to get a nice photo of this, though. Look at that. Look at the framing, dude. Unmatched. Boom. Flashbang. Murder begins where self-defense ends. Sometimes, I guess. Actually, all the time. If you think about it. Whoa. Whoa. Killer leaves crow trademark. Hmm. Okay. Nineteen seventy. Seventy one. Oh, time is moving forward. Oh, and there's just a whole series of murders. Almost like a series of killings. I wonder if there's a name for somebody who does that. Created by Jordan Lindgren, yep. Masterpiece, I'm sure. The two previous games were definitely masterpieces. Also, I have to let you guys know, I don't know how the editing is gonna be on this one. Um, it's supposed to be a long game, so I don't think I'm gonna do way too much editing. 1981, 20, 24 AM. That would be... Hey there, detective. Some of your partners need a helping hand in the apartment building on Ash Street. The guy should be waiting for you in apartment room 311 with some insight on the situation. Over. Roger that, CJU Games. They got all the homies in here. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. I should get in my car. You are correct. <laughs> Let's get in the car. Oh, okay. That's where I have to go. And I have to actually drive again. Look both ways before. Just make sure. I'm not going to get into an accident. A nice, calm stroll through a rainy day at very slow speeds. 
for a police officer trying to do his job, I could be moving a little bit faster. Either that or we need an upgrade to our vehicles at the force because this is this is almost painstakingly slow. Dude, look, I can walk faster than this. Well, as usual, I'm going to use the power of editing to make my way even faster towards where I need to go. So you guys stay tuned. Ugh, here we go. <laughs> We've arrived. I'm parking here, parking the car. It's reminding me a lot of Broken Through. And then, perfectly in the lines. Look at that, see? Bro moves. Oh, this is where I have to go. Enter room 311. Investigate 311. Employees only. Y'all remember the Eric Andre show? Isn't that what he said? I'm going in the elevator and I have to go to floor three. Please don't let anything spooky happen in this elevator, dude. I'm not into that mess. Oh, we're good, okay. So 311, right? 308, 309, 310, 311. Going in, whoa, hey. Thanks for getting here so quickly. Yeah, Tony. We have a little crime scene situation in here. Uh, oh, is that blood? Also, who is this dude? Kinda has a silly face the on The only him. one who had noticed anything unusual during the suspected time of the crime is the neighbor one floor below. Mm. Apartment room 211. Okay. I just need you to go down there and try to get as much information as possible from the lady. Gotcha. Get back here afterwards and we'll leave you alone to photograph some evidence. Leave me alone? That lady is a bitch. Just saying, bro. Damn, dude. Zach, please let me in. I'm curious. Okay, fine. I'm going down. Okay, so we go down to floor two. Hopefully nothing bad happens while I'm in this elevator, dude. I don't know if any of you know, but I kind of have a little bit of a fear of elevators to some degree. When they make sounds like that, dude, I'm going to 211. That's this one right here, right? What if I try to go to other people's? Nope, it's not going to work. Knock. Hello? <laughs> Margaret, it's me. I'm with the police. I just have some questions for you, if that's all right. Oh. Make it quick. <laughs> all right, Margaret. I'm busy cutting my toenails. Sounds good. I'm sure you're very busy. What happened? You know what happened in apartment room 311? Oh yeah, some lad was stabbed by his girlfriend because he wanted to break up. Oh my God. I say that bastard deserved it. What? He listened to that disgraceful heavy metal at max volume. So? My ears are too delicate for that shit. The language. How old was he? How old was he? Was he? 23 years old. That's very young. Staying like an 87 year old for sure. Th I don't like you, Margaret. You're being very rude. Did you know about this man? Did you know him? Oh, I sure did. I found him smoking the devil's lettuce with my grandson once. He's lucky that I'm old. I would have given that stone or the old stone to the cranium myself. Oh my god, Margaret, I'm a little bit suspicious of you at this point. Do you know anything about the girl? Perhaps. No. I just know that she has a sweet ass. Margaret! Keep it professional, okay? Put some shoes on. Please. Alright, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you. Piss off. Hey! Well, now that I just finished talking to perhaps one of the rudest video game characters I've ever come across, let's go back up to floor three and back to three. Eleven. Right? Open up. Look both ways. So you never know. Crime scenes scare me sometimes. Well, dude, you might be in the wrong field <laughs> if that's the case. You're a police officer. Where did they go? Where did they go? Oh. Okay, that's not blood. Photograph evidence. Oh my god, is that evidence? It might as well be without terrifying it is. I'm opening this, and I already see a bloody handprint. Photographing this. Boom. Victim's bloody handprint. So I'm assuming that I have to go room to room in order to find this evidence. I can't open the fridge. Am I really short or something? Because my god. Oh, <laughs> I think that's evidence enough. Boom. Murder weapon. Well, I thought I saw one more room. Yeah, right over here. This must be the last place of evidence. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought that was somebody's head. Seems to be some kind of mask. Boom. Murderer's mask, I think it said. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh. Inspect that. There's pee in there. It has not been flushed. I'm getting out of here, dude. That's gross. What about the TV? Can I watch the TV? Dusty TV. Okay. I'm out of here, dude. Oh, Zach. I mean, Tony. Thanks for the help. You're welcome, Tony. You can report what you found involving this crime at another time. Okay. It's not that big of a priority right now. It's a literal murder. Anyways, go home and get some rest, my man. Thanks, dude. You I appreciate it. it. Thank you. Man, they chose the, the right person to be this officer. Am I right? I made him nod by walking to and fro. All right, Zach, uh, Tony, and other guy that I don't remember what your name was. I'm out of here, reception. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that when I go down to reception, it's not gonna be reception anymore. There's gonna be something different going on. I could be wrong, but I guess only time will tell. <sighs> I was wrong. Oh, I'm driving. Okay, not bad. That was a crow, wasn't it? All right, peeling into the house. Ha, park. I almost crashed into my own front door, dude. That would have been silly. Here I am. A nice little neighborhood. A beautiful ranch style house, single floor, it seems. I'm fine with that. Enter the house. Let me in. Okay, why is it so dark in my home? Wait, where's my wife and child? Uh, honey? Honey? office enter bedroom whose room is this kevin's room okay i assume everything is okay with my wife and child oh honey where's my wife i miss sleeping next to her what are you gonna perhaps say what happened no i'm just gonna go to bed oh what is this that i'm hearing 1963. Wait, was that the date before? Oh. Hey. Oh, hey, honey. Hey, Linda. You came home just in time. I think little old Kevin is a tad bit hungry. Go give him his bottle, will ya? Oh, okay. So this is when Kevin was a little tiny baby boy. Grabbing the bottle. And I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go give Kevin his bottle. Why did I do that? Hey! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's just so funny to see a baby just and giggling too. All right, here we go. Feeding Kevin. Have you been fed? I'm feeding you now. I'm feeding your forehead. What? What just fell? Oh. For the fourth time. Wake the fuck up, detective. I'm sorry. Tony apparently needs some help. ASAP. He probably doesn't need it, but I don't make the rules here. He's waiting for you on the side of the road by Pebble Lane. Over. Damn. I didn't realize CJU was so... angry. Okay, here we are. Side of the road, Pebble Lane. Tuesday, 6.19 a.m. Tony, I'm coming to help. What do you need help with? And don't tell me I have to go into a sewer. Please. Please, Tony. Please don't tell me All this. Right, so this is what went down. Okay. Some mother's kid went missing when chasing her dog. Oh. Who was apparently chasing a crow. Oh boy. According to the mother, the dog went as far as to run into a sewer entrance to catch up to the crow. Okay. So our guess is that the kid also went in there and got lost in the tunnels. That makes sense. I think you know what you need to do. Well, Tony, why didn't you go in there? Why don't you come with me, you know? Look at old hands, frolic through the sewage. I'm going down. Oh, lovely. Nice, nice. The greasy ladder that I gotta climb down. Oh, yes. Shift to sprint. I kind of already knew that, but thanks for reminding me. It's always a good sign when you're told how to sprint in a horror game. That means that I'm definitely gonna need to use it. And it doesn't seem like my sprint is that fast, to be honest. Do I not have a... I do. This doesn't seem like a one-man job, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit pissed at Tony, aka Zach, for leaving me hanging like that and forcing me to come down here alone. And we're coming up to this. Okay, I was gonna say, can I crouch? And I can. So we're doing it. 
Kind of Lord Jabu Jabu's belly looking ass in this place. Oh. There seems to be a bit of a diversion. What is this? What's that? A strange uh, hole. You can't take my words that I usually say. Well, I usually say mysterious hole. But either way, it's funny. I'm going over here. This whole place is a strange hole if you really think about it. How the hell am I going to get back? Oh, here we go. There's a doorway. <laughs> Don't let him escape. I'm running after you. Hey, uh, uh, freeze. <laughs> That's what cops say, right? Where'd he go? I hear him to the right. Oh, there you are. Hey, what have I done wrong, officer? Trespassing. What the hell are you doing down here? No answer, huh? I live here. Oh. All right. Have you by any chance met anyone else down here? A young girl? And hopefully with a dog as well. A dog? I haven't seen any girl, but I can occasionally hear a dog barking in these tunnels. All right, Bill. I heard that. Well, speak of the devil. All right, I, I get it now. I know that the dog sure as hell responds to whistles. Oh, if you okay. track down where the sound comes from by whistling, you might find the right path to the kid you're talking about. I sure hope so. All right, then. I won't handcuff you since I feel bad for you. <laughs> but what if this guy is the killer and you're just going based off assumptions? Damn, dude, caked up. How, how do I whistle? G. He's that way. Can I climb over? Oh, I can snip the chain links. This is pretty cool. Nice. All right, Bill. I don't know what happened to the back of your head, but I'm out of here, dude. Whistle. It's definitely up ahead. I'm getting hefty lost in vivo by vibes from this. Okay, do it again. To the right. I'm going to the right. I love directional audio, dude. There's something about it. That's so very cool to me. I'm assuming there's going to be, yeah, more crossroads. There's a four-way intersection here, so. <laughs> to the left. Look at me, dude. My sense of direction unmatched. Oh, was that a crow that I just saw? Hmm. Which way do I go? I have to grow the, go the way the crow flies. Isn't that a saying? Maybe. And now we've ended up here. Oh. Is this a puzzle? Uh. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Oh, that is what it was. All right. I got to redo these. All right. I got the other two down. Just got to do one more. Ah. Oh. Nope. <laughs> do it again. Ah. E. I didn't get it, but I got it. So I'm still going. Wait, let me first. I'm pretty sure it is ahead of me. Hopefully not behind. Kind of sounded like it was ahead of me. Is this blood? Oh, we found a door. The blood leads to a door. Entering the room. Let me still make sure. Okay, it's to the right, I believe. So if there comes another crossroads... And I should go right. Something smells weird. I mean, you are in a sewer, dude. Granted, if you... If you say something smells weird in a sewer... After you've been in it for a long time, maybe there is something wrong. Oh! Hurry to the exit? To what exit? What? What is happening? Death by cats? Jeez Louise, dude, that is rough. Do I still... It's up ahead. Okay, I just gotta keep running, man. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no. This ain't good, dude. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. Come on, snip the chain, dude. Snip the chain. That's enough, right? Yep, crouch, go, run. Please? I don't want much time. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Look at how close I am to death by gas. It's happening. There's no way. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I didn't die by gas. See, this is what a true gamer is like. 
even when the odds are all against you. You still persist. You never give up. <gasps> Please, get me out of here. Yes! I want to go home. Okay, don't worry. I'm here to get you out. There should be a valve around here that you can turn to open the exit. I tried turning the valve, but it just won't turn. Stay there. I'll check it out. Thank you. You're welcome, Lisa. And Pop, shake paw. <gasps> it's a little Shiba Inu. One of the most adorable dogs in existence. Found rust remover. Oh, that must be what the issue is then. Yeah, okay. Rust is dissolving. Let's see if I can do this. Yes! Lisa? Your exit is here. Uh, your... Your exit... Your exit is here? You know what? Screw this. I'm getting out of here, man. Wait. What is... How do... I'm going! Oh, there you are. Were you aware of how far you were running into the sewers? I didn't think I was going that far when I was chasing Max. Well, you were. I need to be more aware of my surroundings. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Get in. Your mother's worried sick. Tony. Okay. Tony. Bye, officer. See you later. Oh, I'm driving again. Okay, a job well done today. Look at that. The other times, just photographing evidence. I don't know. There's the crow again. I don't know. That wasn't as fulfilling as what I just did. Because I feel like I really made a difference, you know? Anyway. Pulling into the lot. Alone. Oh, you don't got to drive the point home, dude. I know. Well aware of that. I guess let's go in here. Can I not? I can't go into Kevin's room. So what happened, though? Did they die or did I get divorced with. I guess it's time to go back to my sad little bed again and be sad little alone as I go to sad little sleep. Okay, 1968. So this is when the game started, right? Or am I mistaken? Oh my god. What? And there was this crow symbol painted in the victim's blood. That sounds really disturbing. Do you really think this line of work is good for you? Probably not. But I want to be the one to solve this case. I want you and Kevin to feel safe and protected. If you say so. That was my whole dream. All right, well, I'm sorry, Linda. I'm starting to see the cracks forming in our relationship a little bit. And whoa, okay. That wasn't the whole dream. Come in, detective. Or what? Danny and Carlos are waiting for you by the Sandy Shore Beach for some kind of examination. Okay. Hmm. Tony's honestly weirding me out a bit. He could just do it himself, but he's been making you do his work for a while now. Well, I couldn't care less. Head over there. Now. Over. Roger Dodger, I'm going over there. Wednesday, 7.34. A.M., I assume? Is this... Who is this? Who are you? Ah, you're the swimmer guy the cops have talked about. Swimmer? Guy? <laughs> yeah, you're here to dive and retrieve some stuff underwater, right? This is new information for me. Well, that's your job to figure out. Look, I don't know what you're doing here, but somebody's got to get the body out of there. And they're apparently waiting for specifically you. Ask your buddies what's going on. They're waiting for you on the bridge. All right then, Buck. Well, Tony, I'm not gonna lie. I'm now suspicious of you because the game told me to be. So talk to me, Tony. All right, look, don't get mad at me, but I called you over here to do more than just to gather some evidence. Yeah, I think I understand at this point. I'll explain more when we're there. Oh, hop in. Oh, okay, Carlos. Don't give me that look. Hey, Tony. Last one to the car scene pays for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Left him in the dust, I guess. All right, so the diving squad was busy, and we need someone to retrieve a body. And you're good at doing shit, so that's why I called you. I've told you I'm terrified of diving, which is actually true. That's, that's why I had to trick you into coming here. Oh my God. Just follow the rope, and everything will be all right. I've got your swimming gear right here. Thank you, Carlos. 
I appreciate it. Fine. Tony? I'm starting to trust you less and less. I think you're trying to get me killed. I guess I'm going down. All of the rope. Okay. Not a fan. Not a fan of this, but you know, I'm just going to think of it as not being that I'm underwater. Oh. Hold and release. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe slowly to stay conscious. This is making matters so much worse, dude. I'm manually breathing right now, and I don't like it. Retrieve the body. Here? Is that it? A screwdriver? Okay, unscrewing. This is rough, dude. Doesn't help that I'm hearing a bunch of noises. Oh my god. This is really unsettling for me, man. Alright, unscrewing the last screw. It's really weird for me to be doing this, dude. Put body in bag. Attach lifting bag. How do I activate it? Oh, here we go. Activate. Spam space to activate? Ah! Ah! <laughs> I did it, dude. Please get me out of here. Please just, like, fast track me to the top, man. I don't want to keep breathing like that. Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, that's a stinker. Yeah, I mean, it's been sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Take body out of body bag? Oh, God, that's gross. <laughs> Have some respect, Tony. Have a look at the body. Maybe he had something on him. Search body. Why do you make me do this? A bottle Ooh, of water? I'm thirsty now. What? A gun. Keep searching, I guess. An ID card. Oh, man. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Who is that? That's Connor fucking Geller. Co who? He only lived a few meters from the beach. You should go and have a peek around his house for any pointers to the situation. I Carlos so. can take you back to the shore. All right, cool. What are you going to do, Tony? Are you just going to sit here and look at this dead body that's unrecognizable compared to the bit? You know what? I don't care. All right. Well, here I am. And the house is only to several meters away at this point. What? Like, just got blocked up by something there. Okay. <gasps> I agree. All right. Opening. Maybe if I can find something in the area that I can use to get over the gate. There was no if in that sentence. Find a way to get over. I mean, oh, there's nothing quite like a good light cue. Grabbing the ladder, stealing it from somebody else's home, even though I'm a police officer, so I guess it doesn't matter. All right, we're gonna set this ladder up nice and easy. We're gonna climb this ladder even nicer and easier. Right? There's, is that, are these? I thought those were body bags. Why does this one appear to be lit? Move rock. 0529, okay. That must be the code to get in. Here we go, unlocked, beautiful. Entering the house. Doors locked, maybe I can find, oh, there we go. Boom, enter. Turn the power on. Yeah, that's probably a good idea considering I literally can't see anything, anywhere. Oh my god. Why must it be so dark and scary? Why? Why, oh why? Why do I hear such noises, too? Turning this on, man. Rewire. I'm a jack of all trades. Here we go again. All right, I finished it. Beautifully done. <laughs> um. Now what? There's got to be something at the top of this very long staircase for some reason. It's still pretty dark in here. Oh, this place is horrid. Disheveled even, what does this say? I'm meeting him by the bridge tonight. He's been stalking me, leaving notes by the door, yet I've never seen his face. I don't know what he wants from us, but I'm bringing my gun just in case. If I don't come back home, just remember, I love you, Sarah. Who's been stalking? It must be the murderer. Whoa. 
His son lives in a trailer park not too far away from here. I should head over there and see if I can talk to him about this. Might I be digging up old wounds, though? That doesn't... Take photos inside the house. Of what? This? Alright, I got one photo. <laughs> Two photos. I guess maybe I'll get one of his bed? That, does, that seems to be the only viable option here. Boom. Sleeping right next to an outside trash can. Speaking of outside. Get me out of here. Later that day. Is this me going to the trailer park? This must be. What? What is... I guess I'm going. I don't seem to have any actual destination here. I'm just kind of driving. I should pay attention to the road, though. Because I almost went off of it. I appear to be in the middle of damn nowhere, and I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. I like to know where I'm going. Especially because in the past, you've given me some kind of indicator of how far away from my destination I am. All right, here we go. Finally, a landmark of sorts. I've been driving for what feels like hours, even though it's only been like a minute and a half. <laughs> Keep pushing, I guess. I'm on a bridge. And here we go. This is probably, ah, okay. Interesting. You have a bridge connected to your yard? I That's actually kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. I see some stuff in the distance over there, but it told me to search this home, so I'm knocking. No one is inside, entering. So what do I look for? Search? It's empty. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to be searching all these drawers. See if I can find anything. I, ooh, inspect. A drill is not needed right now. You got it. All right, well, the only thing I've found so far is a drill. Probably look through here. No. Search the couch. No. Exit caravan? But. Oh, what? Why? There really doesn't seem to be anywhere else to search. I've searched every one of these drawers. To no avail. So I guess I'm just leaving that drill here. There were more caravans, so do I just have to search all of them? This one seems to have a little bit of extra security. <laughs> Knocking. Inspect. I should be able to disassemble the gate with something. The drill. What am I... What am I hearing? Oh. Uh, I'm coming to save you. At this point point in time entering who's crying in there oh. oh it's just the tv okay you had me worried there for a second I'm gonna search all of these oh lock it and everything else is empty so see you later very sad tv so it looks like this house over here is completely boarded up i don't think i'm gonna be able to get in there unless i find a hammer of sorts or a crowbar, apparently. But can I go through the back of this one? This seems to be just a straight up abandoned trailer park. Gonna maybe try this door. Hello? Is there anybody there? Enter. The door is locked. I have a lockpick. Oh. Skyrim? Nope. 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 Yeah, there we go. In. Ooh, this one seems to be a little bit fancier to some degree. Uh, maybe the carpeting? There's something going on with it? I see a light over there. So I'm assuming there's something in this one. Nope. Here? What? Read. Hey, Billy. Guess what? I've been tinkering with our weapon save, and I got something exciting to share with you. Drum roll, please. The new code is 3117. Why'd I do this? Because leaving the code is one, two, three, four was a dumbass move, Billy. <laughs> yeah, that is a dumbass move. Three, one, one, seven. I gotta remember that. All right, none of the other things have anything to do with anything. So I'm exiting the caravan. So I haven't found a crowbar yet, but I do have a code. Three, one, one, seven. And I'm assuming I'll be able to get in here with no issues. Knocking again. Anybody there? No one is inside. Yeah, the door is locked. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Uh, open. 
Ah, nice. Okay. Well, not the best place to leave your key. Here we go. Oh, there's the safe. What was it? 3117? There we go. Unlocked. Beautiful. And now... Oh! A crowbar. I would like to take those rifles, but... <laughs> doesn't seem to want to let me. So I'm just going to search the rest of this place and see what else is up. Totally empty in here. I'm going to get out. I'm going to use this crowbar to open up the next spot. And then there's something up with that shed, dude. I don't know. I'm a little suspicious of that. That doesn't matter to me. I'm removing the plank. I'm removing the plank. And I'm removing the plank. And I'm entering the caravan. I didn't even knock this time. But there's probably no need. Oh, 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 oh. My God. Dude, that is Oh, that is gruesome, man. That is more than gruesome. And there's the symbol again. All right, I'm going to inspect this. Do I have anything to say about it? Photograph evidence. Oh, a very close up picture of that. Okay. My God, dude. Your obsession for him grows stronger. Come again. Say again. Oh, that is truly brutal, man. Can I leave? I'm going through the front door, dude. What the hell is happening here? Drive home. Okay, first off, why is my vision this way? Second off, what about that shed over there? There's something really suspicious about it to me. Should I take a look? I guess I should. What is this? holiday that's all that's in there as a poster well this has been a delightful journey i'm not gonna lie this has been a lot of fun to be at this trailer park but i gotta get back home dude this is not cool ah uh, yes the usual indicator to let me know that i'm actually making it home and there's the crow nice to see you again buddy okay we're gonna pull in i'm gonna go back to sleep and have a, another little dreamy weemy apparently that's gonna haunt me to my core uh oh sleep on sofa mm, maybe i'm doing that because i don't want to have another bad dream and i possibly think it's attributed to being in the bed 1978 oh. this is the fifth time this week you've done this shit what we're literally begging you to stay i barely even see you nowadays marcus i have my reasons I'm this close to solving the crow killer case. I can't believe you. Is your job really that more important than your fucking family? I mean, no. <laughs> this obsession has nothing to do with your job anymore. You're doing this in your fucking spare time. Every single day. You two wouldn't understand. And yet, you still don't care. I can't take this anymore. Fuck you, Dad. How could you say that, Marcus? For those of you who don't know, <laughs> that's Immortal Marcus, I believe, that did the voice of Kevin. <laughs> so that's why I'm not calling him Kevin, I'm calling him Marcus. And here I am, awake, yet again. Hey, detective? Yes? I, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I, I just got a report from Carlos's husband. Carlos... Carlos has been killed. I, I need you to meet Carlos's husband in the interrogation room by the police station. Over. Dude, what? Uh... How? Alright, here I am, Friday 2235. Damn, dude. This got real somber real quick there's something very ominous about this place restroom why am i going in there i don't need to be there i guess i just kind of want to see how much detail is really in this game and if somebody's in the stalls nope we're good i'm getting the hell out of here man and uh someone oh. pissed in the sink dude come on <laughs> not cool at all not cool i'm exiting <laughs> why would somebody do that man Tons of toilets right over there. And why is it empty? 
in here. That doesn't seem to make much sense, but I guess I'm entering the staff room. There seem to be a lot of different areas that I can go, like the office. Do I really need to inspect these areas, though? Open drawer. Well, looks like I'm gonna have a lot of work to do here. I'll be right back, y'all. Oh, there we go. It's a good thing I checked. Evidence room key. Okay, yeah, it's a good thing I came in here first. Because now I, I have the key for whatever I might need in the evidence room. Is this the evidence room or the interrogation room? Let's go in. So this is Carlos's husband, right? Sit down. Where are we hey. going? Hey. Hey there. Look, I know what has just happened is difficult for you to process right now. I miss him so much. I do too. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. I won't take up too much of your time. Sounds good. What's your name? My name is Dylan Lewis. How old are you? 32 years old. And how long were you and Carlos together? We were together for 14 years. My god, dude. Alright, now I have some personal questions for you. I need you to answer these questions as detailed as possible. How was your relationship with Carlos? Oh, it was... It was just great. Are we getting a flashback of their relationship? Seven points out of nine. Not too savvy, Carlos. Be beginner's luck. <laughs> what is happening? Let's see if you can beat his score. Who is this person talking? This announcer. I have to do... What? Ah! 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 Uh, damn it, this is gonna be difficult. Ah! I'm not the most skilled when it comes to hand-eye coordination, but I'm kinda crushing it right now, look at me. Ah! Let me wait until it gets all the way to the end! Ha ha! And this one, right there! Ha ha! I've already won! Ah, I missed! There we go. Damn it! <laughs> That's too bad, Carlos. Yeah, ha ha. And the crown goes to Dylan. That's me in this flashback. Interesting. Is that the only memory? <laughs> That's funny. I don't I'm mean sure to laugh in your face. Times together. I'm sure you have, Dylan. Did Carlos ever feel unsafe in his line of work? I'm sure he no, probably... What? Not at all. I'd say it was the perfect fit for him. Another flashback. What is happening? Oh. <laughs> you look so delightful. How was your day at work? Good day at work. I remember him being specifically excited when you started working there. Hmm. My day's been exciting. A new guy has started working with us. He's a detective. And if we're lucky, he might work with me and Tony. I can't wait to get to know him. A little bit suspicious. Why would Carlos enjoy working with me so much? He loved meeting new people. That's why. Did your husband have any enemies? Not at all. I'd Another say the flashback. Opposite. Whoa. Hey. Is that Bill? Do you got any spare change? It's freezing out here. I think you need something more than just spare change. Take my jacket. I don't want you to be cold. God, God bless you, sir. What a nice gesture. Carlos seems like such a nice dude, seemed. Sorry. He was such a kind man. Yeah. It seems like it. What happened to Carlos? What moments do you remember leading up to Carlos's death? Here's what I can recall. Oh boy, here we go, another flashback. Uh, oh. Oh. I remember him coming home very late one day. Uh-huh. Carlos? Hey. You're home late. You just got some... Good news involving some crow killer case. I've got some new evidence involving the case I've been talking about. Uh oh. My colleague might be able to solve the case with this evidence. Hmm. So he learned too much then. The next day, he came home even later. Oh boy. Okay. Hey. He looks upset. But this time he told me that he was scared. Like someone was watching him. Makes sense. What's wrong? I think I'm being followed by someone. 
Oh. Interesting. The day after that, he... He didn't come home at all. Oh boy. He's not there. Do I keep going? Oh. Uh, so how did... Oh. Okay. Which way do I go? Oh, that seems to be a light key enough. Open the dumpster. That's when I found him. Dead. Dude. I still can't get that crow symbol out of my head. I'm sorry to hear that. You said something about some evidence that he had found? Yeah, he, he found some big evidence, apparently. I don't know much about it, but I do know that some scientists are trying to confiscate the evidence or something. Hmm. Interesting. Well, Dylan, that's all the questions I had for you today. Dude, that was heavy. Listen, Dylan. Thank you for your time. I'm sorry for your loss. Please. If you find this person, kill him. You don't gotta tell me twice, dude. I gotcha. I'm gonna destroy this freak. Oh, I'm back out here. But oh, wait, I need a drink. What about the evidence though? Cause I had the evidence key. I should have went in there. Beer Lazy? I have a feeling Beer Lazy is gonna be the one working here. That's a nice, whoa. It's a package store. Hey, Berlin, AKA Beer Lazy. What up? Hey. Long time no see. Yeah. What can I get for you today, my man? The usual? Uh, can I just get some alcohol? Sure. How much do you need? Give me as much as you're allowed to give me. Damn. You throwing a party, bro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, 16 bottles of beer, $80. All right, we're going to type in 80 and I'm going to go. submit that. Thank you. I'll see you around. Appreciate you spot it. spot a chick with some smooth skin? Call your brother Berlin. <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course. Grab bag. See you later, bro. I love all the little cameos in this game, dude. It's it's so nice to see like a bunch of YouTubers that I know and even like some larger ones. It's really cool. All right, we're almost home, I think. Hopefully I, uh, as a police officer, did not drink that. There's the crow. As a police officer, I sure hope I didn't drink those before getting in the car to drive home. That would not be a wise decision. But I'm parking here. Ah, it feels good to be home. Sit down on sofa. Time to get smacked. Time to get wasted, dude. Am I gonna... Oh, coat. Oh. Spam space to chug. Dude. This is kind of messed up, man. Oh, I can definitely tell. My vision was getting a little wobbly. Am I about to have another dream? You ignored their intervention. Oh. Some pointers from this cape case keeps leading back to this house. Oh. But I need more evidence before I can enter. I know where to find that evidence. I'm waking up again. What is this music? Can I stand up, please? Okay. It's so dark. Detective? Yes? Meet me in the woods by your house. Tony? I need you to hurry over here right now. Okay, Tony. Here I am. Oh. 3 a.m. On, on Saturday. Oh. What is with this place? Bioluminescence? Tony, where are you at? Man, don't... Okay, I have a bad feeling about Tony now. I'm gonna be honest. He spent a lot of time with Carlos, and he wanted me to do a lot of very risky things. So I'm wondering. Maybe Tony has something more to do with this than I could have thought possible. That's what you want to hear in the middle of the dark, creepy forest. 
on an unfamiliar path. As well as what sounds like some kind of entity <laughs> roaming around waiting to kill me. Tony! Tony, where are you? It's so dark. Into the darkness I go. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh my god. Tony. The knife. The girl killer's fingerprint could still be on here. I need to take this to the station. I'm going to find him tonight. Tony. Kill him. You don't gotta tell me twice, dude. How do I do that? Do I go back? Because I'm killing this fool tonight. Already back at the police station, dude. You don't gotta tell me twice. I'm entering and I'm going straight down the hall and all the way to the evidence room so I can figure out what else I can do here. I need to compare the current evidence files with the fingerprints on the night. It's gotta be somewhere around the corner over here. Perhaps this room? Why are there so many different rooms? Evidence room. What is this though? Forensic lab. So I'm probably gonna have to go, first let me, okay, the door is locked. Great. Wait, there should be a key somewhere in the office. I picked that up though. Do I have to go get it again? There we go, okay. I got a little bit worried that I broke the sequence. Good thing I knew exactly where to look. I was so worried that I was literally gonna have to start the entire game all over again. All right, we're gonna open this door and enter the evidence room. I, I wonder what the evidence is though. Oh, there's a lot of evidence in here. Well, this is a the only glowing box in the room, so I'm grabbing that. I wonder what computer. Oh, oh. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, dude, I'm nervous. I'm exiting. Why would I exit? After hearing what I heard? Do I gotta go this way? I can't? The door is locked. I don't have access to the laboratory key. Okay. So then... What? Pick the lock. You got it. Okay, entering the lab. <sighs> I heard like footsteps and shit. Add tools. Equip forensic brush. Unpack. Place new evidence. Brush fingerprints. So this is gonna like connect to everything together, I assume. Compare. Knife fingerprints. Fingerprints found by Carlos. It's not the same. At least it doesn't seem- there's two different fingerprints. Carlos either got it wrong, or there's two people involved. Leave the police station. But wait! There's a whole ass staircase over here to my right! Do I go down there? It's dark. I can't. I'm out of here, bro. Somebody was running all up in this place, though, and I don't trust it. Uh, I thought they were going to be right here. I should have maybe brought the knife with me. Although I have a gun, I believe. I just, I genuinely don't trust what's going on here. I don't think I should go in that restroom. Whoa. Somebody left a note. Read. Meet me in the house. The house in the woods. Okay. I guess I will. The house in the woods. The one for my dream. I need to check the evidence board in my office. What? Oh, I'm going back home. There's the crow again. It's nice to see you. It's always nice to see you, crow. I'm just gonna park at home yet again. Park the car. So I think this is what the final pin means because there's probably a whole board, like one of those investigation boards with all the, the pinned pictures and everything on there. And this is the final pin. All right, no time to waste. I think this was my office. Yeah, I haven't been in here yet. So this is our first time seeing what's in here. I feel like maybe I should have come in here more often in this game, but I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, inspect the board. There's the house. This is what the note meant by the house in the woods. I couldn't enter the house a few years ago. 
because I didn't have enough evidence. But now I don't care anymore. I will find him there. And probably kill him. That's what the game is telling me to do, so I'm gonna go do it. Into the house in the woods I drive. This music, though. Very ominous. This obsession has nothing to do with your job anymore. You're doing this in your fucking spare time. Every. Single. Day. I can't take this anymore. I want a divorce. It's the way she goes. The thing is, like, even if I solve this case, is that really gonna fix everything in my life? I don't think so. First of all, I might die. Second of all, it's not gonna bring my wife and son back. There's the house. Very big house. Also very ominous. I guess I'm just gonna approach it and go inside if I can. Here I am, this place does not look inviting. I must say, this place looks very disturbing. I can't even go in. Oh, yes I can. So, what do I expect to find? In all honesty. I'm not alone. There's somebody up here. Where? Oh, there's another note. What does this say? When I was down, he left me, but I didn't give up, even though it was not right. So down, left, up, right. What does that even mean? Door's locked. What's down? Oh, here we go. All right, we're putting that down. We're gonna turn this one to the left. We're gonna leave the other one where it is, and this one to the right. <laughs> Pretty simplistic. Oh, a key. All right, equipping. <laughs> what is the deal with this killer? Escape room looking ass. Why is this happening? I'm going over here to open this door with the key and entering the room. Oh, oh, well then. Inspect. This person meets a description of the original crow killer. But he's dead. The blood on him is brown and dry. So he's been dead for a while. Before Carlos and Tony were even murdered. There's someone else in this house who is copying the crow killer's trademark. Why? What would compel someone to do that? That's all brown. Well, maybe the answers lie in this room? Am I actually gonna kill this person? What is this over here? Screwdriver. Uh. There's no way I'm making it through that. But there is a way I'm making it through this. I'm unscrewing all of these and I'm going through the vents. I'm not a big fan of vents in horror games, especially after playing Broken Through. I'm worried that I might be chased in here, but I'm going in. All right, yep, this is very familiar. Very familiar. This is like exactly what I had to deal with and broken through. Hopefully I will not be chased. Because that was very intense. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I was just minding my own. Oh my God, you didn't have to do all that. Oh, geez, Louise. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Somebody being murdered actively? Somebody's screaming. Another one, there we go, okay. They're becoming a little more predictable now. Okay, I think I'm, oh, there's a drop. Yes. Ow. I'm awake. Not ow. Well, the fateful hallway. I don't really know what to expect. There's gotta be something at the end of this. Very long, <laughs> very drawn out. I'm a little worried about something being behind me, honestly. Oh, a door. Guess I'm gonna go in. What is happening, dude? What could this all lead to? To you. Um. Y'all? by cop. What? I'm 
I thought that was him. I thought that was him! When I saw the shape of the head. Speak to your son. Was it worth it? This fucking case. Make your stupid job before me. Before mom. I'm glad I made a difference at least. Just for the price of Tony and Carlos, I finally made you understand the pain you made us feel. All of this is your fault. Fuck you, dad. Oh my god. What? Dude. That is so dark. Why? Why would he go to such great lengths? What have I done? Wow, man. What an insane ending. So I'm just leaving? Guilt. Okay, but listen. If Kevin found the original killer, then why would he continue this? There's something wrong with Kevin, not me. I was doing my job. The case has been solved. Yet I wish I never got involved. I killed my only son. I became too obsessed with this case. I'm resigning. Twenty four hours later. Don't do anything rash, man. Hey, I just saw your resignation letter. I'm sad to see you go, but I understand after everything that just happened. We're all gonna miss you a lot. Hey, when you're at the station to leave your equipment, meet me in the interrogation room. I have some questions about what just happened. I'll see you there. Over. All right. Dude. That is really heavy, man. I honestly wasn't expecting that, so I am actually here. Guess I'm going in. And he said the interrogation room, right? Am I about to be arrested? I don't see why I would be. That wouldn't really make much sense. But it wouldn't surprise me if I did get arrested. So I guess let's go. Alright, here I am. So it's you. Sitting down. Anything to ask? Alright. I just have a few quick questions for you. Okay. I'm ready for it. Do you know why your son decided to steal the Crow Killer's trademark, specifically for the killings of Carlos and Tony? Um, he wanted to get my attention. He knew that I would be even more obsessed with the case after he killed my two best friends. So he copied the original Crow Killer's trademark before killing Carlos and Tony to target my interests directly. Do you know what drove him to the point of murder and how so was- Yes, I do. He hated me because of my obsession with this case. And he had nothing to lose, knowing that I wouldn't hesitate to pull the trigger after everything leading up to that moment. His way of getting payback before the us was, was making sure I felt the guilt of killing my own son in the line of duty. And he got what he wanted. I see. Well, that's all I wanted to know. Take care, man. All right. Damn, dude. Truly, truly insane. Prepare to visit Sun's graveyard. Wow, man. The crow is gone. That is it. Parking here. Grab a bouquet of flowers. Okay. Can I... Do I ever... I never go into his room. 
I wonder why. I guess I'm going to go and then head to the graveyard. Man, this has been a crazy experience. I don't even know that I would necessarily call it straight up horror. As much as it is like kind of just murder mystery. But it was done in such a good way, man. I'm assuming this is going to be the end. Me visiting my son. But man, this turned out in a way that I was really not expecting. Scott, Carl, what, just the first names? <laughs> that doesn't really seem right. There's two of the same names as well. <laughs> There's Kevin, 1963 to 1981. Placing these down. I love you, son. Wow, man. Oh. Hey there. Look, I understand you must feel like complete shit after everything. But what happened is not your fault. Kevin changed a lot after the divorce. He blamed everything on you. He became violent, very violent. But it took me a long time to realize I was in the wrong. My frustrations made me forget the main reason why you wanted to solve this case so badly. You were trying to protect us, to make us feel safe. I regret so many things. I regret not being more understanding. I regret not getting Kevin the help he needed. I regret the divorce. I realize now how lucky I was to have someone that made me feel safe and protected. I took it all for granted. What I'm trying to say is, I understand now. I miss you so much. Please, can we start over again? Mm. See, I don't know how to feel about that. Two years later. I don't know that I like that she's taking the blame now. Because there does have to be some kind of... Oh. This goofy-ass doctor better hurry up with Linda's ultrasound. Oh, she's pregnant the again. Anticipation is killing me! <laughs> you should be here any second now. <laughs> you said that like 20 minutes ago! Alright, Margaret, relax. 32 minutes ago, according to my watch. <laughs> Y'all got watches? I don't even have a second pair of underwear. <laughs> what is this, dude? Man. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> of course, Max Noises. There we go. <laughs> Agreed. What a silly way to end the game. <laughs> that is so good. Oh! I got the result from Linda Sound. Thank you, Jordan. Looks like you're gonna be the father of two little boys. Twins. Wow. Well, this time I was going to do better as a father. I was going to be there for them. And I knew from the start that I was going to name our kids after those two. Hell yeah. Carlos and Tony. There we go. That was the final pin. There's Carlos's ghost and Tony. Resting here is a man who found his passion in his work, forever de dedicated and fulfilled. Huh. Well. That was a really good game. I very much enjoyed that. Again, it's not necessarily exactly horror in my eyes. This was more like almost drama mixed with murder mystery. Kind of thing there were some scary moments um but yeah overall it just it wasn't it didn't seem to really want to take that direction it seemed to be more heavily story based and honestly i don't mind that whatsoever i actually really like the way this developer does that in uh their games it's very well done the stories are well executed they make a lot of sense 
And with this one, the twist at the end was just super, super solid. And my god, I mean, there were literally no bugs in this game whatsoever. There were moments where I felt I could have possibly caused issues for myself in the gameplay. But I, the developer must have thought ahead, thinking that people would make those mistakes. And it nothing bad happened at all. No restarts needed, no glitch, nothing. So overall, this was just a really good experience. A very long experience, but really good almost like a movie in a way but yeah i guess that's gonna wrap it up for me here i highly recommend this game if you guys want to try this out for yourselves be sure to check the link down below in the description support this dev they do really great work and yeah as always i appreciate you all for being here and for showing me the support you guys show me on this channel every single day you all mean the world to me if you happen to enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button down below leave me a little comment let me know how you feel and if you're new to the channel and you like what i'm doing here please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Once again, I thank you all so much for watching this video, and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.